Hey, I'm Brian. And I'm Molly. We're the Wallens. We're musicians who travel the world together, and we sleep in our van. In other words, life is normal. Well, it's a crazy, beautiful world. And it will not be tamed. This is it. This is Regina, our tour vehicle, our home away from home. She is a 2007 Toyota Sienna made in Indiana, so she's a Hoosier like us. Uh, we have about 284,000 miles on her right now, and I bought her as a one owner with 150,000 miles. So had her about three years, and she's just been amazing. Uh, so I wanted to show you kind of how we set things up when we're camping. Molly is back here showcasing things, acting like she's on the Price is Right. Uh, so my dad is, is pretty crafty. Um, he built this platform in the back, and in case you're wondering what this weird thing is, that's a, a kick drum that we actually use in our set called a stomp board. We've got a full-size bed on the platform, and uh, it's a memory foam mattress. And we also added an extra mattress topper, so it's really pretty comfortable. Uh, we, we sleep pretty well in here. And the cool thing about this platform is the way it lifts up. And we've just got tons of storage under here. You know, we, we can fit our cooler, we can fit all of our music gear, and, and just everything we need. Um, the third row seats used to fold into the floor. Not going to be needing those, so just ripped them out, and now we've got all this storage space. Um, there's also space underneath the platform up here on the side, so uh, we've got the spare tire there rather than being mounted under the vehicle, so it's accessible. And uh, we, you know, put everything, uh, jugs of water, like our clothes, our, our luggage, just, it all fits underneath the platform. Uh, so this is uh, a pretty useful setup. Uh, one of the other cool things, you can see we've got curtains that go up here. Uh, we've got four of them. We've got two for each side. Uh, and then we've got a front and a back. Yep. And they're bungee corded in, so they're hooked up to this knob here and then up in the front and they'll hook onto the other front part and then I cut these holes so they'll fit on the hooks so they go pretty much up to the ceiling and yeah. cover most of the stuff. It's just one 80 inch curtain that I cut up and sewed so it fits perfectly for Regina. Yeah we've got total privacy here and they're also blackout curtains so they do a pretty good job of keeping the sun out in the morning so we can sleep in. Uh, yeah I just want to kind of walk around I'll show you a little bit of the storage here on the side. Um, you can see there's there's quite a bit of room uh, in there and we've also got stuff stashed between the platform and the seats and you might have noticed uh, in other photos and videos and stuff uh, we've got a, a right line a rooftop cargo carrier that we use as well so uh, it's a pretty great setup uh, we can go anywhere that we want to go uh, we, we've got truck tires on it, and we get about 23 miles to the gallon most of the time, so it's, it's just awesome, and this is a very comfortable setup. Uh, it is important to have a fan, though, because yes. <laughs> without that, it gets, it gets pretty sticky and, and toasty, so that's a little bit of info on the setup inside the van. We recently acquired this awesome tent from Rightline Gear. It's designed to attach to the back of your SUV or minivan or really any kind of vehicle that has a hatchback. And the cool thing about it is it's freestanding. You can set it up and if you need to, you can close the hatch and, and drive away, zip it up, and everything will be waiting for you when you get back. Uh, one of the things we figured out pretty quick is you do have to uh, kind of come up with a solution for the hatch of the vehicle being open. Uh, you don't want it to drain the battery. Now, the Toyota Sienna has a, a switch to shut off the overhead lights, uh, but that's not good enough because when you leave a door open, apparently the vehicle's computer, the ECU, doesn't actually shut down. It doesn't go into sleep mode. So uh, the first night I tried it, I ended up draining the battery. And really, what you have to do is pretty simple. You just have to, to get a little carabiner like the kind of thing you you know put on a backpack to to attach stuff 
and just stick that in the mechanism uh, that closes the hatch and it will fool the, the system into thinking the door is closed. So that's what we do, it works like a charm. Uh, this tent is awesome. Uh, we really experienced a lot of pretty extreme weather on this tour. Uh, we camped out in Denver when uh, the storms were coming in off the mountains and there was one night uh, about 2.30 in the morning, a storm came through, wind blowing 60 miles an hour, heavy rain, lightning, and I, I thought the tent was going to blow to Kansas. Like, the wind was just shaking it all over the place, but it didn't go anywhere, and we didn't get any water inside the tent. It was completely dry, and that was absolutely amazing. So uh, we paid about 300 bucks for this tent, and it's really just added a, a whole nother dimension to our van setup. Before, the bed was great, but we didn't really have anywhere to, to hang out and be out of the rain or out of the bugs, and, and this gives us our living room. There's enough room for, you know, all sorts of stuff. We set up two folding chairs and a table. We play board games, uh, hang a lantern. It's got a lantern hook at the top, and we're both tall people. We're over six feet tall, and we've got enough vertical space to stand up without too much trouble. So we've really enjoyed the addition of this tent. It's a crazy, beautiful world. Well, that's it for this time. And we hope you've enjoyed this dang. edition of Life is Normal. And hope you can tune in to the next episode it when we'll be, be profiling dang. our trip through the desert southwest. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again.